Hi, I'm Tim Vandegrift from Master Vintner. Today we're going to be answering some of your commonly asked questions about winemaking. Here's an advanced winemaking question. What is malolactic fermentation? Why don't we do it in the wine kits? This is a really good question. Malolactic fermentation is used in grape winemaking. What it is, is the introduction of a bacteria to the wine. And this bacteria does a special sort of fermentation. It's not an alcohol fermentation like yeast, which eats sugar and produces alcohol and carbon dioxide. This is a malolactic fermentation. So the bacteria consumes malic acid in the wine, which is fairly sharp tasting. It's kind of harsh, like, a, like an underripe apple. It converts it into lactic acid, making the wine much softer, reducing the acidity. It also produces diacetyl. And diacetyl has a character like melted butter or buttered popcorn. This layers beautifully with oaking. So if you have a Chardonnay that's gone through malolactic fermentation, it will have that described buttery character, which can buttress oak uh, flavoring as well. Now, malolactic fermentation is done specifically so that the wines can be drunk a little bit younger and taste a little bit smoother. Um, wine kits don't have that issue. They ferment out very nicely and they don't have the harsh malic acid character that grape wines have. They're balanced just for that purpose. So we don't encourage malolactic fermentation in wine kits because it's not necessary. Also, there are issues with getting it started. The pH in wine kits is very, very low, which discourages malolactic fermentation. So even if you did introduce it, it's highly unlikely that the wine would finish malolactic. Here's a straight up question. What's sulfite? Sulfite is uh, the name we give to a stable salt of sulfur. Sulfur is the yellow powdery chemical that everyone's familiar with from chemistry sets as a kid. Now it's a stable salt of sulfur. That means it's bound to uh, something like potassium or sodium. Uh, we could go into a long chemical explanation, but chemistry for the most part is kind of boring. What sulfite does is it provides a source of elemental sulfur that helps suppress bacteria and yeast and prevents oxidation. That's the browning and spoilage that happens when you, say, cut an apple open. Oxygen attacks the flesh of the apple and makes it brown and soft and mushy, and after a while it goes bad. The same thing would happen to wine if you made wine without sulfite. Some people are concerned that sulfite might be harmful to their health or they might be allergic to it. Trust me, you can't be allergic to sulfite. It's not possible. And sulfite is in a lot of different things. It's in everything from orange juice to instant noodles to beef jerky to store-bought bakery bread. It's generally very safe, especially when used as directed. Having said that, don't consume sulfite on its own. Leave the powder be. Stir it into solution in a well-ventilated area because it does have an awful smell and it can kind of catch in your throat. But follow the instructions and sulfite is a safe and effective way of making sure that your wine turns out every time. Here's an expansive question. What's the difference between using oak in the wine kits and oak barrels? Well, my favorite answer to this is thousands and thousands of dollars. A really good quality oak barrel from a good barrel house will cost you somewhere around $1,200 to $1,800 for a 50 gallon barrel. That is a steep price. And that's why some of the big wines that are aged in brand new oak all the time are quite expensive. It's part of the cost. The oak material used in wine kits is from those same barrels. It's from the same wood, from the same forests, from the same trees. However, instead of making it into a barrel, which takes a craftsman and a lot of time, uh, they take the oak and treat it exactly the way they would the barrel wood, but then they chip it or grind it into small pieces, chunks, or powder. These can then be added to the wine to give the same oak character and oak flavor. The difference winds up being little more than a matter of price. You'll get most of the character of an oak barrel with a simple addition of some oak chips or oak powder. I'm Tim Vandegrift from Master Vintner. Love your wine.